working on day what of being quarantined? Depending on where you are, you may have been quarantined as long as I have been, which is about a month already. And I think that we're still looking at at least another month, maybe even longer. So I decided to come and share with you all some tips as well as things that I am doing to help to care for my fine natural hair while being quarantined. Okay, so for starters, this is not the time to be doing wash and goes. Guys, for real, what you gonna do? Wash and then go wear? <laughs> no, when you're shut in the house, at least if you're anything like me, you kind of lay around a little bit more than you normally would you know even not not just laying in the bed but just like laying around on the couch lounging around and when you do that your hair has a very high risk of getting more tangled and just becoming a little bit unruly and even dry so let's put the wash and goes away for a while let's shelve it until we can wash and have some place to go and let's work on doing and christopher's in the background he's gonna like parrot me probably sometimes let's work on doing some low manipulation and protective styling you might be better than me and you're good you have kept your hair locked up but for those of us who aren't really thinking about our hair it's probably time to do so because we're about a month in and we got some time to go so one of the things i've been doing is first of all stretching my hair stretching my hair in two braids on wash day i washed my hair yesterday and i just put it in two braids i put the goodie flex barrette here and that's just allow to allow my hair time to stretch and not as an extreme stretch but you know a decent stretch so that i can then do some flat twists which i plan on doing after i'm done with this video i tie my hair down with a scarf at night and then that's how I go to bed. Now I'm awake and my braids are kind of semi-stretched and I can proceed for my next hairstyle. One of the things that I also recommend that you do if you haven't been doing and you've been thinking about it is starting to do more DIY hair recipes. If you're running out of hair products, why not use some of the things you already have? I mean, you ain't got nothing else to do. <laughs> Seriously. DIYing some recipes like for example one of the things I've been doing is and this is a semi DIY because I'm not a huge DIYer you know I don't make everything from like shampoo to styler like no I prefer to buy products too but now that I have a little bit more time on my hands DIYing some of my recipes is a really really good thing to do and even mixing and combining some things so one of the things I have been doing to help on wash day to sort of accelerate things a bit is I have been mixing my leave-in conditioner with my sealing oil and then just applying it to my hair. This is a really simple recipe. All it is is my coconut water leave-in conditioner by Camille Rose Naturals mixed with this oil right here. So I like this oil because hey it's got all the herbs in it that I like mixed with oil. It's very lightweight. You can use it to, to moisturize, to moisturize. You can use it to seal the length of your hair and you won't have any problems with like your hair drying out really fast or being weighed down. Now, here's another thing that you could DIY. You could DIY your sealing oil or your scalp stimulating oil, whatever the case, it's really very simple. You take a base oil, one that works for you. For me, I could do coconut oil, I could do avocado oil, I could do olive oil, or even a combination of the three. And then you mix some essential oils in there. Whatever essential oils you feel helps to stimulate your scalp, rosemary oil, peppermint oil, tea tree oil, throw some sweet orange in there. Basically, this organic oil blend is a really good representation of that if you don't want to buy something like this you get you an oil or a combination of natural oils and then you add some essential oils to it and you've got yourself a nice sealing or stimulating hair growth oil okay so on keeping your hair moisturized one of the things that I have been doing because I don't want to wet my hair down every single day, but I do want to get some moisture into it without causing it to revert. And in order to do that, I've been using the main choices, Tropical Moringa Daily Restorative Spray. 
all I do literally is when my hair is in whatever style it's in. And for the past two weeks, I actually had my hair in small twists. Now, some of you know I never really advocate for mini twists because it can cause a bit of tangling on fine hair. But I did go a little bit smaller than I normally would because it allowed me to keep my hair done for two weeks. So I would take this daily restorative spray, literally just giving it just a little bit of moisture, doing my ends, making sure I squeeze it in, and just allowing it to just moisturize my hair because there are oils built into this you really don't need to then seal your hair again on maintaining your ends this is what i've been using organic castor oil i have a small amount of jamaican black castor oil left but i find that plain organic castor oil works really really well at sealing the ends of your hair so i would just use the dropper and just put it on the ends of my hair like I talked about in my previous video how castor oil is really really good at just sealing the ends of your hair without weighing the length of your strands down of course and I have to say this before someone misunderstands you can use it on your scalp in order to stimulate hair growth but I wouldn't be working that castor oil all down the hair because it can weigh fine strands down Another thing that you might experience when being sort of quarantined in the house, if you're not constantly washing your hair, which I'm not saying that you should, your scalp may start to act up a bit. So on keeping a calm scalp, I have been using this hair and scalp mist infused with herbs. It's basically a base of apple cider vinegar and it's infused with herbs and it's from Natty Naturals or AKA all things are natural and all you would do is you could literally use this to refresh your scalp by spraying it you know in whatever area that you feel like your scalp is starting to kind of like itch or rebel and I find that the apple cider vinegar combined with the herbs really does help to calm the scalp and get you through to your wash day whenever that may be the instructions on the bottle actually also say that you could use this as a light cleansing scalp rinse so what you would do is you would spray it all into like areas where you have like maybe some product buildup and I don't even think you really should be having too much product buildup because like if you're not going anywhere you shouldn't have to use a lot of stylers and things that would build up on your hair but I you know obviously it depends on your hair you may get build up from just putting your hair your butters and your oils on your hair but you would massage the scalp refresher into your scalp you'd kind of use the pads of your fingers to manipulate and remove any like residue and then you'd go and you'd shampoo your hair like usual but the way I've been using it is simply as a scalp refresher now on low manipulation I have coined twists as the pandemic hairstyle a lot of ladies are rocking twists in their natural hair because it allows you to kind of go about your day without having to worry about your hair so I've seen some really 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 cute styles and there's one particular lady that I just first of all I just love her hair her name is a hair story on Instagram but she's done some really cute twist styles and I'm actually going to bite a couple of them over the next few weeks because I will either keep my hair in that style for one week or two weeks just depending on how long it holds up ready to move on to a different hairstyle and i will be doing one of a hair stories hairstyles but take a look at some of her styles this helpful and leave a comment in the comment section below on how you've been maintaining your hair while been stuck in the house quarantined away from the world
Thanks and have a very blessed day. God bless you and be safe.